I'm Robert O'Brien from O'Brien Guitars, and I'm a luthier. That's right, I said it. I almost feel like I should be in a 12-step program because of it. And for those out there that are luthiers, I think you can sympathize with my position. I'm also an instructor of luthery. I've taught for over 20 years now at the college level, also privately in my own shop, and in several other shops all over the world. I've helped a lot of people over the years build guitars. I stopped counting when I hit the number 500. That was back in 2010 when I was still teaching at a college. I've taught so many classes over the years that I've seen just about anything that can possibly go wrong. And that's not necessarily a problem. I've made all the mistakes myself. In fact, I tell people the only reason that I'm qualified to teach is that I've made every mistake that can possibly be made probably three or four times on the same mistake. What you're about to hear is a collection of stories from my years of teaching Luthery. As you can imagine, I meet a lot of people from all walks of life. Each of them bring a story with them. Some of them have baggage. Some of them don't. Some of them are just down on their luck. Others are looking for a change in career paths. Others are just looking for something to do in retirement. But they all have a story to tell. Some of these stories are happy. Some are sad. Some are funny. Some are not so funny. But I hope you enjoy them. I'm also going to try to avoid mentioning names here as I relate the stories so that I can protect the innocent. However, in most of these stories, the people are guilty and they know it. The idea for telling these stories actually came from one of my students. I was giving a class in my personal shop, and throughout my classes, if you've ever studied with me, you know that I tell a lot of stories. And one student said, hey, you need to write a book. You've got a lot of stories. And so during that class, during the week we were together, I had a piece of paper on my bench. And as I would remember a story, I would go over to the bench, write down a little topic to help me remember it. At the end of the week, I had well over 60 stories that I had remembered throughout that week. So these are those stories. Before I get going with the stories, though, I guess I should probably fill you in on my background, how I actually got started in Luthery and then started teaching Luthery. Well, I was living in Brazil. This is probably about 25 years ago. My wife is Brazilian. We had been married for a number of years already. Moved back to the States. I went to school, got a music degree. Learned woodworking.